welcome Central Lion parents and students to our virtual awards day ceremony held for grades 5 through 8. I'm Jason Engelman, the 712 principal, and I'm speaking on behalf of myself and Mr. Harmon and our staff today as we welcome you into our virtual experience uh, due to the COVID-19 crisis and the school closure uh, extension. This is something that we, we wanted to make sure we got out to you because this is something we take great pride in in celebrating the, the many achievements and successes of our students uh, throughout the course of the year. So please sit back and enjoy our virtual uh, awards day ceremony. Hello, I am Mrs. Langholt and I teach 6th through 12th grade in choir. I have 6th grade general music, 6th grade choir, 6th and 7th and 8th grade choir, and I have several music awards to give out. The first award I'd like to give out is for Opus. At the beginning of the year, many students in grades 6th through 8th worked to audition for Iowa's most prestigious honor choir. Auditioning for this group takes a lot of time and work. Each student that auditioned did a fantastic job and really grew and improved as a musician. It is a huge honor to be accepted into this honor choir, and this year Elena Popkeys was accepted into the Iowa Opus 5th and 6th grade treble choir, and Elena will receive a certificate for this honor. The next award I have to give out is for the Brandon Valley Honor Choir students. Earlier in March, these talented musicians participated in an honor choir at Brandon Valley Schools. They got to rehearse and sing with a couple hundred students from schools in Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa. They worked with a really fun director from Sioux Falls and gave an outstanding concert in the afternoon and just had a really fun day. Each of these students will receive a certificate for their participation in this honor choir. Thank you so much for all the extra time and effort that you put into this event. And those students are Gabby Rasmussen, Sarah Yerke, Maggie Buss, Madeline Reby, Jonathan Haskells, and Peyton Vogel. The next award I have to give out is to a really special group of students that uh, I really spent a lot of time with this year uh, preparing for two different competitions and that's the middle school show choir and wow you guys what a great year we had you did such a great job in the two competitions that we had and we saw such a, an improvement for that from that first competition to the second competition and I just could not be more proud of you I wish that we would have been able to have our swing show this year so our community could have seen how awesome you are um, and you will all receive a certificate and a medal for your participation in our awesome show choir this year. And those students are Sarah Yerke, Brianna Bosch, Maggie Buss, Adeline Ditsworth, Elise Drakey, Delaney Peterson, Alex Flores, Serenity Floyd, Harper Flying Horse, Nella Hoyers, Danica Hugendorn, Liza Jans, Faith Johansson, Lily Jorth, Molly Konechny, Maria Metzger, Madison Miss, Briley Nelson, Elsie Odekoven, Gabby Rasmussen, Claire Ryder, Madeline Reby, Sierra Schubert, Maggie Sides, Raven Simons, Shelby Stetnix, Kira Van Burkham, Madeline Vanderweerd, Ethan Knobloch, Adrian Bunchy, Jonathan Haspels, Drew Coopersmitch, Ryland Maxwell, Gabe Schulte, Aaron Springer, Quentin Sproke, Tate Vanderweerd, and Peyton Vogel. Great job, you guys. Great season. I hope to have uh, all of you back next year for show choir again um, for our next season. The next group of people I would like to recognize are our 8th graders. 8th graders, you've been such wonderful leaders and such a huge part of our program um, since 6th grade and I've enjoyed having each and every one of you. And you are all so talented, not just musically but in athletics and so many other areas as well. You are truly a gifted class and I've been so excited to have you and work with you these few years. And I hope that I will see all of you again next year in high school. So I would like to recognize all of these 8th graders. Cooper Altman, Sarah Yerke, Maggie Buss, Ashlyn Davis, Delaney Peterson, Ashley Deeren, Matthew Deeren, Callie Drakey, Riley Floyd, Reed Falkins, Lauren Gertis, Macy Govins, Jonathan Haspels, Ella Jager, Joshua Jager, McKenna Metzger, Madison Miss, Ethan Peterson, Sophia Peterson, Gabby Rasmussen, Madeline Reedy, Harrison Robertson, Gabe Schulte, Raven Simons, Aaron Springer, Shelby Stetnix, Reese Vanderzee, and Peyton Vogel. Thank you again so much, 8th graders, for a wonderful year. Thank you for all of that you have done and contributed to the choir program. I hope to see you again next year. The last award I have to give is a new award. It is a leadership award, and I'm awarding that to the 7th and 8th grader in each section of the choir that has demonstrated superior leadership qualities and character over the course of this year. And each student will receive a certificate and a Subway gift card. This year, in the soprano section, the award goes to Maggie Buss and Liza Jans. In the alto section, the award goes to Lauren Gertis and Adeline Ditsworth. Finally, 
The Baritone Award goes to Jonathan Haspels and Tate Vanderweerd. Congratulations, everybody, and thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful year. Hope to see you back in the fall. My name is Janelle Flatabo, and I would like to recognize two fifth grade students, Elise Call and Amber Langholt. These two ladies were selected to participate in the Opus Honor Choir last fall, and they did a great job. Hello. Um, here is Mrs. Seperta, and I just want to um, wish you the best luck as summer goes forward. I really did miss seeing you for the end of this year, but looking forward to next fall when we can get together again. So I have some art awards for 2019, 2020, and I have it broken down into a couple categories and then certain sections. So I'm gonna start with the first art award, which is for Helping Hands. These group of girls um, spent many of their study halls or after school helping me either clean up or help with the kindergarten and first grade. So I really have appreciated their help this year. This award goes to Kylie Horseman, Carrie Huygens, and Melanie Winia. Thank you, girls. The next award is for the excellent worker. As you know, I do expect a lot in my room and I usually have steps and procedures that need to get done. And if you goof around too much, you don't get work done. So these um, students worked really hard and I appreciate that hard work in my room. So for section 5-1, the excellent worker goes to Parker Lolleman. For 5-2, excellent worker, Kelsey Venthal. For 5-2, I had another student as well, Elia Pulsher. For section 5-3, excellent worker, Adeline Harms. For 6-1, excellent worker, Orlando Gill. For 6-2, uh, excellent worker, Madeline Vanderweerd. And lastly, for 6-3, excellent worker, Cameron Jurens. I also had one more for 6-3, and that is Lillian Jorth. The next award is for positive attitude. Um, it's amazing what students can accomplish when they have a good attitude, regardless of their skill or um, how good they're at art. Um, the positive attitude goes a long ways. So for 5-1, positive attitude is Trinity Strasberg. For 5-2, Elise Call. For 5-3, Fred Hoosman. For sixth graders, positive attitude, Nella Hoogers. For 6-2, Zach Drenth. For 6-3, Danica Pogadorn. The next set of awards are for most improved. Once again, it's just an awesome thing to see as a teacher. When you start with certain skills, you work through lessons and projects, and you see an improvement in your students. So the most improved for 5-1 is Tori Selkin. For 5-2, Ethan Gertis. For 5-3, Carson Vandenkopf. For sixth graders, the most improved Caitlin Hoosman, another one for 6-1, Bo Mayo, for 6-2, Braden Hofer, for 6-3, Adrian Bonchi. Oh, pardon me, one more for 6-3, Porter Vogel. The last award for art is for the outstanding artist, because obviously that is the skill that we're really looking at in this class. So for 5-1, Outstanding Artist, Lucy Konichny. For 5-2, Nicholas Mulder. For 5-3, Caleb Poiker. Another one for 5-3, Amber Langholt. And one more for 5-3, Lily Slade. For 6th graders, Outstanding Artist, 6-1, uh, Berlin DeWitt. For 6-2, Thane Jansma. Another one for 6-2, Claire Ryder. And for 6-3, Outstanding Artist, Harper Flying Horse and Danny Fulkins. Thank you once again for all your hard work this year. And like I said earlier, looking so forward to the fall when we can get back together again.
Thank you. This next award is the VFW Awards, which is typically presented by Donna Inderwish and Marlis Jones. Uh, they're unable to be with us here in this virtual experience, so I will be presenting uh, this, this award to our seventh grade essay contest winners uh, entitled the Patriot Pens. Uh, second place is Mr. Tanner Lincecum. And first place for the seventh grade Patriot Pen essay award goes to Matt Albert. So congratulations to Matt and Tanner, and don't forget this, there is a, a monetary donation or a monetary check that will be presented to you when provided to us from the VFW, so we'll be sure to have you pick that up uh, next time you're allowed in the building. Hello, I'm here to award the American History Awards, and you might wonder how are these are selected. Um, these are selected based on your interest in American history and those people that put great effort and participate during American history class. So as you might know, it's very difficult to decide uh, who is going to get these awards and most of the time it come down, comes down to those people that are willing to participate in class. These awards are sponsored by the American Legion Auxiliary and are usually presented by Wilma Miller. So on behalf of the American Legion Auxiliary and Wilma Miller, I present this year's awards to Lauren Gertis and Isaac Yeager. Thank you. Hi, I'm here to recognize our participants in middle school mock trial for this year. I want to start off by saying we had a really great season. We went to our regional competition way back in October and uh, we brought two teams, one that was all seventh graders and one that was a mix of seventh and eighth graders. The participants that we had for both teams were Tate Vanderweerd, Liza Jans, Aubrey Metzger, Brianna Bosch, Avery Harmon, Alexander Flores, Ephraim Hofert, Jacob Downard, Oliver Harms, Drew Kufert Schmidt, Anna Koob, Veronica Stubbe, Morgan Meyer, Gabby Rasmussen, Lauren Gertis, Peyton Vogel and Aaron Springer. So those are the people that participated this year, which they did a fantastic job. Uh, those of you that participated that are in seventh grade, I'd love to have you back next year. Those as eighth graders, I would love to see you be part of the high school mock trial competition when we get that going right after Christmas break. We do have three people that received honorable mention for our regional competition, and they were Gabby, Lauren, and Aaron. So they were all on judges' ballots as honorable mention for, in this case, all three of them were attorneys on our team. So once again, fantastic job, everybody, and hope to see you guys support us in the future. Thank you. Hi, my name's Susan Menwai, and today I get the privilege of sharing some awards with some kids. I teach Tech Ed 7 and Tech Ed 8. The first award that I would like to give is to the fastest typist in eighth grade. Gabby Rasmussen not only averages around 90 words per minute, but she is topped out at 109 words per minute. That is phenomenal. Way to go, Gabby. The next 10 certificates that I have are based on a movie production. In January, students created a video about some topic relating to the Holocaust. Each student created a video and shared that video with their classmates. The videos were then scored as a documentary in accordance with an Academy type award ceremony. The scores and the winners of the top 10 finishers were based on points which were awarded by fellow students. And in 10th place, for Veronica Stubbe and her production of Death Marches. Ninth place goes to Maggie Buss for her production of Starvation and Malnutrition. In eighth place, um, Isaac Yeager was recognized for his production of Conspiracy Theories. Reese Vanderzee took the seventh grade spot with his production of Joseph Mengele, Angel of Death. And in sixth place, as chosen by the class of 
for. Morgan Meyer was recognized for her production of German and Jewish life during the Holocaust. And in fifth place, Aaron Springer for his production of Schindler's List. In fourth place, Sarah Birke received the award for her production of Jew. What is a Jew? Jewish persecution throughout history. And the sixth annual Academy Award for 2020, in third place, the award goes to Gabby Rasmussen for her production of The Star of David. In second place, Lauren Curtis received the certificate for her production of Corey to Moon. I've been doing this for six years, and each year I do a point total by the kids, but I also give them another vote, and that's the Student Choice Award. It's not really based on points. It's just based on their favorite video. And this year, and it's never happened before, Lily Henry received both the Student Choice Award, and that was her production on Boxcar Children, and she also received the most points and attained, obtained first place. Lily, you are being presented with the Oscar. Congratulations and thank you guys for participating. The other 52 movies, videos were very good as well, but 10 made it to the top. Hi, I'm Mrs. Booby. I teach seventh grade lit and English. I'm awarding uh, awards for vocabulary.com. Uh, we got third in the state for overall, and we got first in our division for vocabulary.com. So congratulations to all the seventh graders that participated. Um, I'm giving an award for the most points earned that goes to Quentin Sproke. Great job. And the most points earned during long distance learning goes to Kendra Huseman. Congratulations. Hey band students, it's time to do our end of the year awards. Um, and I've got several students that I would like to recognize that we usually do at the end of the year awards ceremony, but now you're going to get it online. So the first students that we want to recognize are those that put in extra time during marching season. Um, the first one being our drum major this season, Morgan Meyer. Shout out to her for doing an awesome job leading our band during marching season. Um, other students who put in extra time during marching season were our color guard girls. So, Lauren Gerdes, and Lily Henry, Alexis Austin, and Avery Harmon. These girls learned the color guard routine and put an extra practice time, and I am really grateful for that. The next group of people we're going to recognize with certificates are the 7-8 jazz band members. Now, unfortunately, these students didn't get to have their jazz band performance. Um, their jazz band concert because it was canceled due to schools being closed. So I still think it's important for these jazz band members to be recognized. So you'll all be receiving a certificate in the mail to commemorate your year of jazz band in 7th and 8th grade. So those certificates are coming to you. The next award, this is our big award that we usually vote on at the end of the year. This is our 7-8 Concert Band MVP, Most Valuable Player or Most Valuable Person. So usually our 7-8 members vote on this award. Um, this year I am just selected the student that I think contributed in the most positive way to our 7th and 8th grade band. So the recipient of that certificate this year and that award is Rasmussen. You'll be receiving that certificate in the mail. And finally, the last group of students that I would like to recognize are our eighth grade band members. Normally I talk about you at our final middle school fine arts concert in May, which of 
course, we didn't have this year. So I didn't get to tell the audience how awesome you are and how great it's been teaching you for the past four years. So I'm going to do that very briefly here and recognize all of our eighth grade band members. Um, on flute, we have Sarah Berkey, Riley Floyd, Lily Henry, and Veronica Stubbe. On clarinet, we have Delaney Young peterson On alto saxophone, we had Morgan Meyer and Madison Miss. On trumpet, we have several of them. We have Zakai Ditsworth, Lauren Gertis, Desta Huganorn, Jackson Lewis, Gabby Rasmussen, Aaron Springer, and Reese Vanderzee. On trombone, we have Keaton Funk, McKenna Metzger, and Peyton Vogel. And in the percussion section, Ashlyn Davis and Graham Eben. Shout out to those ninth grade or those eighth grade uh, band members. There was 19 of them this year. Um, I know that you might not all believe me, but I really did enjoy teaching you for the past four years. You're very talented band students, and I hope to see you continue with band in high school. Hello, my name is Jody Schrick, and I am the TK through 12 teacher librarian. Um, today I'm going to present awards for Accelerated Reader. The top three earners in each grade are as follows. In fifth grade, third place was Amber Langholt with 148 points. Second place was Caleb Quaker with 255 points. And first place was Nicholas Mulder with 425 points. In sixth grade, the third place um, point earner was William Vanderzee with 169 points. Second place was Laura Mejorada with 222 points. And first place in sixth grade was Berlin DeWitt with 456 points. And in seventh grade, the third, actually the third um, place prize in second was a tie, so they both get second place. For Julian Timmer and Tristan Smith, they both had 213 points. And Brianna Bosch was first place with 349 points. So I added up the first um, place prizes for each and the total of the three first place winners, um, they read just about 100 books, it was 98, so good job guys. Um, all the winners will receive a certificate and also a CAC gift certificate. So thanks for your participation and keep reading. Our next award is entitled the Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. This award goes to 8th uh, grade students who, ex who, who have or exceed a 3.5 cumulative GPA in their final year with us here in the middle school building. Uh, we have a number of students who have achieved this, this award and I will name those off here in alphabetical order. Nolan Baker, Sarah Bjerke, Ryan Chase, Ashlyn Davis, Ashley Deeren, Graham Eben, Kenley Floyd, Keaton Funk, Lauren Gertis, Mariah Gerleman, Lily Henry, Desta Hugendorn, Morgan Meyer, Ethan Peterson, Gabrielle Rasmussen, Aaron Springer, Shelby Stetniks, Veronica Stubbe, Reese Vanderzee, Darlene Vasquez, Peyton Vogel, and Riley Weiler. Congratulations to those eighth grade students who have achieved the Presidential Award for Academic Excellence.
Our final award goes out to a number of students in grades 5 through 8 that have achieved what we call the Student of the Month Award. The Student of the Month Award was established um, many years ago and it is to celebrate the many successes of our students who are exhibiting not only academic excellence but are also being um, role models for their peers who are following the expectations if not exceeding expectations in the classroom, in the hallways, in the lunchroom and so forth. So at this time I'd like to acknowledge and celebrate those students who have achieved Student of the Month for the year 2019-2020. In the fifth grade we have Caleb Quaker, Maggie McCarthy, Trinity Strasberg, Cody Den Hood, Sophia Ryder, Jackson Poletsky, Logan Koo, Alex Miner, and Eliana Holford. So congratulations to those fifth grade recipients. On to sixth grade, Faith Johansson, Landon Stryker, Madeline Vanderweird, Bo Mayo, Carter Fries, Lillian Jorth, Isaac Quaker, Danny Fulkins, and Zayden Walf. Again, congratulations to those sixth grade award winners. Moving on to the seventh grade, Tate Vanderweird, Maddie Huseman, Alexandra Flores, Kendra Huseman, Alex Brenneman, Hayden Stetnix, Thomas Herbert, Quinton Sproke, and Kavian Huffman. And finally, our eighth grade group, Isaac Yeager, Veronica Stubbe, Ashlyn Davis, David Warner, Kenley Floyd, Lily Henry, Shelby Stetnix, Darlene Basquez, and Galen Dewan. So again, I'd like to thank all those students, and at this time I'd also like to thank Pizza Ranch for allowing us the opportunity to take these students when, when we want to celebrate their achievements and providing us with a, uh, with a complimentary meal um, to help motivate and continue to support the students of Central Line. So thank you to Pizza Ranch, thank you for the, the teachers who nominate and select our students, and also thank you parents for uh, supporting them at home. Um, we have a terrific group of, of young men and women here at the school, and we most, most deeply appreciate uh, their continued uh, development and their continued push towards uh, student success and, and student achievement. So again, thank you grades 5, 6, 7th, and 8th for achieving the Student of the Month Award in the year 1920. Well, that concludes our 2019-2020 Middle School Awards uh, ceremony. We thank you for being a part of this virtual experience with us. Uh, it's imperative that we continue to celebrate uh, the many achievements of our students and staff here at Central Lion, and we didn't want to miss out on that opportunity this year uh, due to the COVID-19 crisis. So we thank you for tuning in. Um, and although you may not have seen every one of our students come up um, throughout the course of this presentation, I can assure you that all of our students are doing an excellent job and all of our students are deserving of many accolades and many uh, positive remarks because we do have a great, a great student body. We have a great staff here at Central Lion and that's something to celebrate year long, not just here at the end of a, end of a school term. So thank you for being with us and on behalf of the Central Lion Middle School staff, Mr. Harmon, myself, and all of our presenters, uh, well done students and uh, have, a great, have a great summer and we look forward to seeing you again next year.